Next game up, Ball State at Penn State. And Penn State is favored by 22 and a half. Penn State had trouble Woo. scoring on on air the other day against Wisconsin because they did have opportunities. And, and it just, I mean, they, they got by Wisconsin by, by the skin of their teeth. I mean, it was just ridiculous. It, 16 to 10, that's a good win. They were absolutely in the game. The offense got nothing done early. They did have a few explosive plays that ended up being the deciding factor in the ball game. I do wonder, because this is a bit of a sandwich game, Penn State just went to Wisconsin, and now they're coming back home, and they've got Auburn next week. Big primetime matchup on ABC in week three. Week two, you got Ball State, who did not show anything at all in their first game. They got scraped by a, a not great FCS team by 10 points, but they got everybody back from a team that won the MAC last year. And, yep. and I have to believe that Penn State is not going to care so much about this game. And I think that this could be Ball State Super Bowl. So I'm. I don't know. Go ahead. I, I, I'm, I'm riding Ball State here. I'm, I'm taking the 22 and a half. Like, I, I feel good about it. No, I'm riding Ball State too. But listen, I don't like all the making excuses for why Ball State's going to cover this game. This is a good Ball State football team, okay? Yeah. And, and, and Penn State is a really good team in the Big Ten. Penn State is not 22 points better than Ball State on their best day. You play this in a bowl game, you, if you say this is for the national title, which I know is a little ridiculous, but Penn State's not beating them by 22 points. If Penn State doesn't care about the games around them, and they're only focusing on this game, Ball State is a good football team. They're going to play physical defense, and they are going to run the ball down your throat. I will tell you this. I, I think that some of those some of those interceptions that Graham Mertz threw in week one, some of the misses that he had it, to, to some wide-open guys – I don't think Drew Plitt's going to miss those. I, I think no, Ball State's going to. No, I don't either. I don't either. I think the offense for, for Ball State is better than the offense for Wisconsin. I, I also think that the defense for Ball State is not nearly as good as Wisconsin's. But no, not nearly. Not nearly. <laughs> nope, that's okay. But that's why I'm getting 22 points. Exactly. So 22 and a half. 22 and a half. Yeah. So I, I will take yep. it. So give me give me Ball State. Give me the Cardinals. Mike New, that bunch. I'm, I'm all in. Let's go. I think it's a good Ball State team. I think so as well. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.